Now that you guys have suffered through jeans, what I used for this one was actually a random word generator. So today's episode will be all about fun facts of pythons, or one of the largest snakes according to softschools.com. You fucking rat -a, a piece of shit. Anyways. <laughs> uh, personally, I really... I've never really been ex- Wow. I've never really been exposed to snakes that much. Um, holy fuck, that's a top percentage. <laughs> Ooh, need a ran. <sighs> My favorite types of Pokemon are poison types. So, and Nidoran right there is one of my favorite because I love Nidoking and Nidoqueen so far too much. That is my first favorite Pokemon. Anyways, back to a different poison type. <clears throat> pythons are one of the largest snakes. Unlike many other snake species, pythons don't produce ven venom. So I apologize, he is not a poison type. He's a shitty snake is what he is. Piece of shit. Pythons live in tropical, tropical areas of Africa and Asia. They can be found in rainforest, savannas, and deserts. A lot of people keep them as pets. Pythons don't attack humans unless provoked or stressed. So don't beat the shit out of your python. Don't do it. You'll be fine. I actually don't see like a actual sot how big they get in this so I think I fall upon quite a quite a shitty little fact site here when it comes to um, pythons at least but that maybe maybe may explain why it's called softschool.com probably doesn't get too in-depth dude hit him Jesus fuck Plex you know better than that Think of all the times I've trained you to hit correctly, and here you are, you're fucking up a tackle on a goddamn caterpillar. You're the same fucking size. How hard is it? Jesus, caterpillar, Christ. Anyways. I'm gonna have fucking issues with caterpies, aren't I? Yeah. Alright, Carl, get out of there. Pythons are constrictors. They kill their prey by squeezing them until they stop breathing. That'd be scary. You know, there's a picture it's got up here. I may or may not put it up. I'll probably forget. But he uh, does not look very big. I think pythons... I don't know. Whatever. After they kill an animal, they will swallow it in one piece. So they got that... Actually, I think all snakes got the fucking de-hinged jaw shit going on. That is just straight out of a horror movie. Everything except fur and feathers will be digested. Undigested material can be found in the python's poop. So if you want fur and or feathers, what you do is you get yourself a python. Get him to eat your fucking turkey dinner shit. Eat, eat the turkey before it's dead. And you wait till it poops. You sift through that shit. And you get feather. You, you don't get anything to cook. I fucked that up. Anywho. Size of the prey determines the time needed for digestion. Bigger prey can keep the snake satisfied for weeks or months. I wish I could be like that. Pythons eat four to five times per year. Holy fuck. That's, that's interesting. I'm jealous of that, actually. <laughs> um, four to five times per year? That'd be nice. They eat wild animals such as monkeys, antelopes. Like, py pythons must be much bigger than what I'm remembering them as. They can eat a whole fucking antelope. And, uh, caimans. Caimans. C A I mans. I have no idea what that is. Pythons attack their prey from the ambush. Pythons attack their prey from the ambush. 
so they ambush their prey. That's one of the weirdest ways to word that I've ever seen. Pythons attack their prey from the ambush. From the ambush. They ambush their prey. That's all you gotta say. They are well camouflaged and hidden, usually in the trees. So these motherfuckers jump from trees onto their poor defenseless, apparently, antelopes and just fuck them up. Haha, <laughs> Jigglypuff, he's so cute. Stupid bastard. Mmm. Now we just beat the shit out of him. Don't you dare. Oh, disabled sing. That's not how that move works. Or works anymore. Whoa. Well, that's a problem. To say. Oh. You know what? I could have had him dead by now. Mmm, crap. Fuck. Back. Go get him, Carl. Where was I? Although they are mainly located on the ground or in the trees, pythons are excellent swimmers. How? Like, I'm totally ignorant of snakes and really any animal anatomy at all. But, um, how does a snake swim? You know? Uh, I know there's a... One up here, so I'll just take that one. Put Pokemon Center up here. But, uh, like, okay, they don't have any limbs, anything like that to actually move them. So I'm assuming that they are light enough to float. But then, how do they actually create a propulsion system, I guess, is what I'm asking. Which I suppose that'd be something for me to investigate. But, um,. You know what? I'm, I'm probably not going to do it. Maybe somebody will tell me how that works down below. That'd be awesome. I, w I would legitimately like to know that. Um. But, let's see here. Actually, I gotta focus. <laughs> I can't fuck up my run while learning facts here. I... oh god. I gotta do this blind. Wait. Actually, I don't think this one's dark. It's not. Why did I think it was? I'm gonna save it real quick, that's for sure. But, uh, okay. Impossible. Um. Colors of the python's skin are usually similar to the colors of its habitat. Snakes blend easily with their environment. So they, they got chameleon traits. Well, no they don't. They're born. I'm guessing they're born. To which they're... Oh... In a Pokemon way. I think it's Shellos? Shelios? When it's in different regions, it's different colors. Just because... I don't know. That's what they do. Um. Mm. Py people kill pythons because of their beautiful skin that is used in fashion industry. Again. I don't get fashion at all, dude. <laughs> Why... Why scaly snake? What do you make out of that? Purses and wallets? What do you do? I, don't get me wrong, I, I'm no PETA animal lover, save animals, whatever. I love hamburgers. Cows can go fuck themselves, they're awesome. But, there's gotta be something more useful than fucking snakeskin wallets. Pythons have heat-sensing organs, which help them locate their prey. Thermal vision. 
We all wish we had that shit. Fucking Kakuna, man. Jeez. I can't wait till I get to a point where these assholes stop showing up. Uh. Alright. Female, female pythons lay 12 to 36 eggs. She protects eggs and keeps them warm by coiling her body around them. When babies hatch, mother leaves the nest. Young snakes need to look after themselves from the first day. Sucks to be them. I... <laughs> I wonder about stuff like that, because... When you think about it, like, when we're first born, we are completely retarded. We have not... Humans come... They are built from experience. Even, like, we don't know what's good until we try it. We don't... If we can smell it, maybe gauge it a little, shit like that. But in a way, we don't know what to do until somebody either teaches us or we just kind of figure it out like oh i'm hungry i gotta put something in my face um like we don't accept something is wrong until somebody points it out to us that is wrong and that's a really weird way for us to learn and then you see something like this where the snakes pythons are born knowing what to do, which I guess would be instinct or habit or something like that. Um, but it's so different compared to us on the way we work, at least. But I guess that's just what I'm thinking. I don't know. I don't know animals. <laughs> not not well, at least. This is... This may be my very first random battle. And lo and behold, it's a Zubat. Um... He's got Leech Life. That's it. He's not worth my time. Now, pythons are cold-blooded animals, but they can increase their body temperature through sunbathing. That sounds like a very stupid fun fact. Now, get me if I'm wrong. All cold-blooded animals, their temperature is based on a, on the environment around them. So you are going to tell me that it's a it's a little python factoid. That their temperature can increase when they're in the sun. Not saying they do it on purpose, if you tell me why they did that, that'd be a fact. Here I am bitching about this motherfucker's facts. I'm gonna sing this little bitch. Now. One of the longest known python species is reticulated python, which can reach 30 feet in length. Most snakes weigh between 260 to 300 pounds. Holy fuck. That, you know what? That's probably where the whole... 300 pounds. That's terrifying. Well, this Clefairy's not farting around. Pythons can move one mile per hour on the flat ground. <laughs> Uh, actually kind of sounds a little unfortunate. Alright. Uh, in captivity, pythons may live up to 40 years. 40 years. Whew. 40-year-old snake. Well, 40-year-old python, my bad. I don't fucking know. Luckily, uh, my, my timer just ran out.
because I just fucking ran out of facts from softschools.com. I will be having these, uh, any websites I bring up I will put down in the description in case any of you are randomly curious. I really won't be investigating on anything much farther than this. Much farther than what I'm reading. Because, I don't know, that's what I do. Or don't do. No, that's what I don't do. Later.